Yo, what the deal? This your man Frank Dutch right here. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. And today we're gonna be talking about side chain compression and also how to use it. I'm gonna show y'all how to use it as well. Now you already know what to do if you haven't already. Smash that like button, turn on all the notifications, and subscribe to the channel, man. And share this video, especially if you find it useful. You know what I'm saying? Now, without further ado, let's get into the video, man. Okay, so what is side chain compression? It's basically when you make the compressor's effect level on one signal control the volume of the of another signal. Like a common example would be making the compression level on a bass drum be controlled by the volume of the kick drum. That that shit sounded confusing as hell saying that. I'm I'm gonna just show y'all. The first thing that you want to do when you're setting it up, you want to put the compressor on the signal that you're actually trying to affect. You know what I mean? Now, once you do that, we're gonna use uh, this um, factory plugin right here from Pro Tools. So once you do that, you wanna click the side chain um, key activator right here. That's what I like to call it, the side chain key activator. You wanna kick, click that and it'll illuminate blue for you. Now once you do that, you wanna come over to your key input. Now, you wanna pick an uh, open bus or you know whatever input that you got it going through, but in this case, since we're routing internally, we're gonna use a bus, and I got it on bus 38, you know what I'm saying? I got bus 38 for mine. Whatever open bus you have though, you use the bus The bus you got. Once you've selected the bus you wanna use, we go going over to that signal, and then we're gonna to go to the send section, and we're gonna take that same bus, bus 38, and we're, we're gonna put it right there. Now, we're gonna uh, adjust the compressor to taste. I got, it, I got it slamming it, just so you guys can get a, like a real, um, uh, idea of how it's gonna sound. So check it out. That's with it bypassed. That's bypassed. So yeah, as you can probably hear, the kick drum is pushing down the bass, the transient of the bass, like down a lot because I got it slammed all the way. But in some aspects, you might want to use this technique to make the signal sit in the mix a little more, you know what I'm saying? Like whether it be a bass and a kick drum, you know, if you got some 808s and in the, in, in the kick drum slapping, but it seemed to be like clashing. You want to have it in key, number one. I, I was listening, this ain't quite in key, but you definitely want to have it in key with the uh, instrument that you're using. But you can also use side chain compression to make it sit even more, make it make it gel together even more. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, man. Click them links down in the description, man. I got some free sound down there for y'all, man. And and and, and y'all be cool. Y'all be cool, man. Peace.